friends, it's Dina here with the Eat Laugh Review. And today we're taking it slow. We're taking it chillax style slow. <laughs> As you can see, my little lazy meal here that I made today. But before I get into my little lazy bone meal, I wanna welcome all my new viewers out there. Welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to show me some love. So, as you can see the scene, I'm on my couch. And, you know, it's raining outside. One of those little lazy, lazy days. I have my shirt here to go with the, the scene here, my shirt. Anyhow, you guys are probably wondering, what the heck is this? <laughs> well, this is a barbecue sundae. Mm-hmm. Check it out. I made homemade coleslaw, which is down here, and I layered it. Homemade coleslaw, uh, some baked beans here, which they're not homemade, and I some mac and cheese here, which I'm reviewing today because it's the first time I made it by Daya. So that's the Daya mac and cheese here that I made. Again, we're taking it slow today. Relax, chillax mode. And let's see here. And then I made my the pulled pork using the Morningstar, and then I added barbecue pit dogs rub on there. Topped it again with the Daya mac and cheese. Once again with the beans and topped it off with my homemade coleslaw. See that? Yummers. So that's the barbecue sundae. And there you have it for a, uh, a chillax day where you can just stuff it all in a mason jar <laughs> and go to town. So yeah. Oh, and then my little drink here. I have the LaCroix, La Croix, or La Croche, I don't know how you pronounce it, La Croix, um, the tangerine, because that's my favorite. Anyhow, let's take a bite, right? Okay, so I, I don't, there's no rhyme or reason how to go about this, but let's go. Where to start here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. So you see the pork there, the beans, the mac and cheese, and the coleslaw. I'm trying to get all this in one bite. So let's go. Oh my gosh. This is so delicious. And you know what? This diet cheese, this diet mac and cheese I made. Well, not made. It was quick and easy. You'll see. I'll put a video. Um, as I'm talking about it, you'll see the video on it and it's simple. You boil the pasta. Once it's boiled, you add the cheese. The end. Again, I was keeping it simple today. So that's what I did here. I actually, mm, mm, it's so good. You get the sweetness from the coleslaw. And then the mac and cheese and the beans. Let's get that pork. Here we go. Look at that pork right there. Look how delicious everything just kind of like together there. And then you get that one whole bite. Mmm. The sweetness, smokiness, and the cheesiness from the mac and cheese. So good. Delish. Layers upon layer of goodness right here. Seriously. So simple, you guys. I could just make this so quick. I could have made the mac and cheese from scratch, but you know, it's just one of those days, right? You guys ever have one of those days that you just want to relax and chillax and just eat good comfort food in one bowl? <laughs> Look at that. Comment below with your favorite bowl concoctions of um, comfort food. But if you guys want the recipe, hit me up at eatlaughreview at gmail.com and I'll shoot you the recipe. Look at this. So delicious. Mm. So, let me just tell you guys what happened the other day. So I get this, <laughs> so funny. I get this pamphlet in the mail, river, like river rafting pamphleting. Now, we did this river rafting business um, 
last summer. And let me tell you, I was so excited for it. My kids and I, my husband, we all did it. I had no idea that it was like the raft, like the wild water type of thing. Because the picture showed just a calm lake. <laughs> it was nothing insane. It was just like a calm, nice, shiny lake. And everybody's just with their canoes or their little kayaks or whatever. And I'm like, okay, let's, um, I was like, let's do this. I'm like, sure, it looks fun. We got there. It was so hot. We got there. And first red flag was signing a waiver. Sign here indicating that I tried to stop you and did so using a stern facial expression. I was signing the waiver and what freaked me out on the waiver was something about like death and dying and boat turning and all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, okay, I thought this was just supposed to be a calm, calm canoe trip. So anyhow, I signed the waiver and I'm still not convinced, right? So I go over to the lady at the counter and I'm like, excuse me, ma'am. Um, how rapid are these rapids? <laughs> you know, like seriously, how insane are they? She's like, no, it's a calm day today. Calm, my sweet. Go ahead, have fun and have a good time. It's nice out, the wind is good, there's no wind, you're perfect. I'm like, okay, let's do this. Go ahead, we get our little life vests on. We get in this hot van, because they have to take us out far, because we park our car one, where we sign the waiver and then they drive us out to the other side of the river because then eventually you're gonna end up where your car is, right? So they drive us in this van for like ever. I'm literally nervous, like, what is this? I'm like, we're going into like the wilderness, which I'm fine, I love nature and everything, but I I'm just getting a little paranoid. Maybe because the car was so far away, because <laughs> there's no looking back, there's no like, okay, that's it, I wanna go back now, let's, you know, I couldn't do that. Too late. And the canoes, the the kid that was helping us drive, you know, that the kid was taking the canoes out, getting us ready. And I'm with my husband in the canoe. The kids went on their own. My three kids went on, on their own on the canoe. My little one in the middle in between the two big ones. So we all went. <clears throat> we go ahead. Calm. Nice like the woman said. The lake is beautiful. Everyone is in their canoe, just canoeing away. Well, I take the escalator when I've got a perfectly good canoe. And so they're canoeing away there. We get in, canoe, canoe, canoe. First of all, to steer this thing straight was impossible. Commu One thing we learned on this trip, communication is key. You have to work with your partner in order to have that canoe going straight. My husband and I, for the life of us, we couldn't get this canoe to go in a straight <laughs> straight line. So our boat was, we were going this way, like this. So here's the top of the head of the boat, and we're going like this. Meanwhile, we look ahead. Our kids are just far out there, and they're, they're having a blast. They're canoeing away. So we're like, okay, we'll get this. We'll get this. Eventually, we get the boat going straight, which that was huge. That was like 20 minutes later, right? <sighs> Meanwhile, my husband's like, get the map out so we know which way to go because we came into a little right or left notion. And I'm like, just follow the people on the canoe. Don't follow these other people. So he's like, okay, so we're following. The kids are ahead of us. Next thing you know, <laughs> it's like rapids. When we made that turn, it was literally rapids. I mean, boulders everywhere. I'm trying, I, the lady gave us like one of these, like a bracelet, you know, bracelet with a, like a little um, whistle, just cause there's two separate boats and to communicate with the other boat, you just blow the whistle. So here we are, boulders. When I tell you boulders, they were massive and you can only see like the top part, like coming out of the water there. So we're going with our, my husband's like, we, I can't, we got to turn keep steering, keep steering. He's like, left, left. So I'm going left, left. And he's like, right, right. So I'm like, 
the rock is getting closer and the kids are way ahead and they're like watch out for the rocks and we're just like I felt like I was in the Titanic I swear to God Jesus Mary Iceberg get ahead that boulder was just like I saw it like just coming in front of us and there was no stopping it I'm panicking and there's nothing we could do we're gonna hit it that's it let's friggin hit the damn rock <laughs> so here we go we hit the rock it was such a big boom our boat our little canoe thing kind of went like this we almost went overboard I'm panicking at this at this point and the boat's still, the canoe's still going, and it's another rock, another boulder, another boulder, and then we get wedged into these two boulders. Meanwhile, the kids are like, they passed this craziness. They're already on like a little, they, they parked. There was like a little island there, and they made it across the treacherous boulders, and they made it to that little safe zone of the island. We're over here like, <laughs> I'm cry. I started to cry. I'm like, I just want to get out of this thing. How are we going to get out of here? My poor husband gets out of the out of the canoe and the water literally was up to his like waist and i'm like i'm not getting out of this because i'm scared you know i'm like nervous i see this on tv all the time like these fear factor or whatever these those shows are i'm panicking where has been literally dragging me in the boat and the water kept getting higher and higher and higher he was fighting the rapids, like fighting the current of the water and F-bombing the whole time. <laughs> He's F-bombing it. I'm crying my eyes out. Are you crying? And literally walk the heck home. I did not, I just wanted to go home. And he did it, he dragged us. Meanwhile, there's other canoe people coming around and they're just like, <laughs> watching us. There's people having their picnics on the side there of the island with children and all you hear is the echoing of F-bombs. <laughs> That's us. So that was our experience. We made it to the island. My husband dragging us. We made it. And the kids then finally walked over to where we were. And that was it for me. I was like, I'm, I just want to go home. And But I manned up, got back on the canoe. I don't know. I just said, okay, there's no way of going home here. I have to get back on this damn thing and just muscle through and just go. You know? So that's what we did. We muscled through. Went, we had another little scare, another water rap, but no boulders. It was just one of these rapids. I was okay. Held my breath. I did good. <laughs> And we finally made it. When we got to the island where the kid that dropped us off in the van was, I wanted to hug and kiss that kid so badly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. I. <clears throat> but we made it. The kids were cracking up. They couldn't stop laughing. They're like, everyone in the whole lake heard the F-bombs, you guys. They were like, so, <laughs> so embarrassing. Anyhow. Mm. Good Lord. So, long story short, or short story long, however that goes. <laughs> I got the pamphlet. The pamphlet came in the mail again, giving us a discount for this year river rafting. So, you know where that pamphlet went, right guys? <laughs> right in the garbaggio. Right in the garbaggio. I'm sorry. I mean, no offense with the company. They're great. They're nice. They're Oh my gosh, the great place, but just not for me. Not for me at all. So that was my little river rafting uh, experience I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, yeah. Never again. Mm -mm. Never again. That was a one and done for me. Checked off my list. <laughs> well, I'm getting full. This is so delicious. Oh, the mac and cheese now. If you dig in there, look at this. I just want to show you the inside. Look, I'm getting low. Get low and get low. The mac and cheese mix here with the with the pulled pork and then the sweetness from the coleslaw. So good. Mm. Anyhow, 
put a dent in this thing. Look. <laughs> On one side, though. <laughs> See that? So let me know, guys, if you ever had an experience like that. Or am I the only one that had, like, a river rafting scare? It's not even river rafting. I, to me, it felt like a river rafting. It was just literally, like, just boulders and little waves. But the current in those rivers are no joke because they pull you. They pull you. And I was so nervous for the kids because if that happened to them, they were in our situation, I, I don't know what the heck I would do. I would, I don't know. But I would have to swim. Who knows what I would do. I don't know what I would do. But I was so nervous and I think that's what was playing in my brain. Like, what if the kids have to go through that? You know, I was just, and we can't get ahead of them. Or I, I don't know. I was just, not for me. One and done, like I said. So let me know. Comment below. Let me know if you guys ever experienced that. Or am I just a, a weirdo that goes straight ahead to a boulder? <laughs> I mean, really. That. Oh, it's so good, this tangerine. Mm. So you guys, this was delicious. One more bite here. I'm going to make it a big one for you guys. Look at that, booty friends. Look at, look at the beans. We got the pork, the beans, the mac and cheese, and a little bit of the coleslaw on the top there. O-M-G. Mm. So good. So, I'm stuffed. I can't no more. This is so good. Just what I needed. On a lazy, chillax kind of day. So, foodie friends, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So comment below, let me know if you want to see more of the chillax time videos. I will do more. And don't forget to share, share, and share this video with everyone and anyone that will like a barbecue Sunday. Oh my gosh, I can't, I'm stuffed and I keep eating it. That's how good it is. Oh, it's the whole sweet and spice thing. Man, does it every time for me. Anyhow, okay, so, and don't forget to live life on the veg. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Chillax time. Bye.